go over here to our body that we're gonna, that we used earlier, and we're gonna duplicate that, and we're gonna call it body part. All right. So once again, Control T to bring up your transform tool, and if you noticed earlier, when you have your arrow, your cursor outside the box, it kind of turns into that bent arrow. And that pretty much means that you can click and drag and it'll let you turn it. And as you turn it, you can see up here how much you're turning it in degrees. So, you're going to turn it, get about 45 degrees. And if you have trouble getting to 45 degrees, you can actually hold shift and it will actually snap to certain degrees for you. So, I'm going to let go, start dragging. Uh, whatever, 50 is good enough for me. So click inside the box and drag it, line, line it up, hit enter to close out the tool. And I'm kind of off on the corner here, so I'm going to use the arrows and nudge it over. And alright, we got one fat leg. Now we want to make this into another leg, so duplicate it with Control J, Control T, turn it around. Go back. And there you go. You should have two fat legs for your stick figure. And then I think you can figure out how to do the arms by now, hopefully. If you don't, I'm going to be very mad with you. Let me do that. Okay, there we go. We've got a fat stick figure. Way to go, guys. So, our stick figure is kind of hanging out here in the randomness in this white room of some sort, and that's a little bit bland, so I'm going to go ahead and give him some grass to stand on. So we're going to go down to the background, hit new layer, and call it, what do you think? Grass. So in order to create grass, we're going to have to have grass colors, right? So these are not grass colors. We're going to make them grass colors. We want the top one to be kind of a greenish color. Uh, that looks okay. Hit okay. We're going to hit the click the background color, make that more of a dead grass kind of color, maybe a little more green. Uh, a little more green. Okay, that looks a little better. All right, we've got grass colors. How do we make our grass? That's actually really easy. You can go over here and get your brush tool or the letter B. And normally that's not the default. What you guys would normally see is this little dot. But we want to make grass. So what you do is you go over to this little scroll bar, go all the way down the bottom, and you see this 112 with a little blade of grass right there. That's what it looks like. You want to grab that. And, of course, with your grass layer still selected, on, close that up, we're going to kind of paint in some grass here for him. And I think that's good looking grass. I don't know what you're going to think, but my grass looks plenty good over here. Alright, so now we've got stick figure, we've got grass, and we have him smiling but he's bald. Why is he bald? We forgot hair guys! Let's give him some hair. Alright, we're gonna go back to our brush tool, hit the drop down menu, and we're gonna go one to the right to this tool right here. It looks like three little blades of grass. We'll close that up. And if we were gonna try and give him some hair with this, it would be a little bit big. So we're gonna use the left bracket, Size it down until we like it. You can use the right bracket to size it up if you don't like it. And for the hair, we're going to use kind of a ugly brownish kind of color. And just for randomness, we're going to use some light blue or Cheyenne. Go up to the very top layer, make a new layer. Again, let's call it hair. And just gonna kind of paint in some hair for this guy. This guy looks like a rocker from the 50s or something. What the heck? Alright, so this guy's a little high. Let me go ahead once again, 
select all these layers, move them back down. You guys should know how to do that by now. And all right, I think we're finished here, guys. Good job. So if you guys have any questions or comments, then you could uh, post a comment on YouTube, or you could email me at brandon at checkit.com. And if you made your own cool stick figure and you want to show them off, then make a video response, or again, email it to me at brandon at checkit.com. That's it for today. See you guys next time.